for today's Sigma, we're going to upgrade our stock steering rack clamp to this 333 Fabrications Billet Aluminum Clamp. <laughs> Welcome back to Toyota Time with Timmy the Toolman. I'm Sean, and today we're gonna do another sick mod. We're gonna install an HD billet steering rack clamp from 333 Fabrications. This billet aluminum clamp is CNC milled from 6061 aluminum. It's approximately 50% larger than the stock one, and that allows this bracket to withstand over a thousand foot pounds more force than the stock one. Now, for those of you that wheel your truck, whether you wheel it hard or not, there's always a possibility that you hit something a little bit harder than you wanted. Because over time, the stock bracket can get stretched out under the significant load conditions that most wheeling is gonna put your truck under. And when this bracket starts to stretch and distort, the bushing will fit too loosely around the rack. And as a result, this will cause play in the steering and not allow you to maintain a consistent alignment. So 333 Fabrications came out with this HD billet steering rack clamp to solve this problem. The other nice thing about this company is they're made here in the United States of America. Oh, say can you see? This clamp is gonna come with everything you need, including the clamp and some hardware, two different size washers, and you'll see where these go when we get to the installation. Besides that, this setup reuses the factory hardware. Let's jump under the rig and get this thing installed. All right, here we are again, laying under the rig, our favorite spot to be, and this is what we're after, with the stock steering rack clamp. So one thing I want to mention is if you have stock skid plates in the way, you may have to remove those. And if you have your sway bar, technically it doesn't get in the way, but if it is getting in your way, then you'd want to remove that as well. So you have access to the 19 millimeter bolt and the 19 millimeter nut that holds this stock steering rack clamp to the frame. So I got my Milwaukee impact gun here and I'm going to remove this hardware. There she is. Here's the nut on the bottom, and here's the bolt from the top. Now, you might need a pry bar to pry this away, especially if it's been on there for a while. Kind of get on the corner and twist the pry bar so it wedges it out. We should be able to grab that. I don't know if you can tell, but I have aftermarket polyurethane bushings installed on my steering rack, and that is recommended with this kit. And especially if you have some original bushings on here, then you definitely want to consider new bushings, and this might be a good time to do that. At the very least, you can replace this bushing. Usually the kits come with all bushings needed to replace the bushings on your steering rack on a third gen 4Runner. So I'm just gonna clean up this bushing since there's a little bit of debris on here, and then we'll get the 333 Fabrications billet clamp installed. Now, if you wanna watch an instructional video on how to replace the steering rack bushings on your third generation Toyota 4Runner, click up the link above and you can check that out. And the orientation you install this will be vehicle dependent. With my particular setup on this 2002 Toyota 4Runner, we installed the clamp in this orientation with the longer side facing down. This clamp is gonna fit tighter than stock, so you may need a rubber mallet to fit it in place. Whatever you do, just don't use a metal hammer because it will mar the surface of the aluminum. It is recommended that you don't apply any lubrication to the bushing. Poly bushings are meant to be greased, and initially I did grease this bushing with the stock clamp that we just took off, but now I wiped all the grease away. It is recommended not to use any lubricants when using this bracket, so be sure to keep this bushing dry. Now that the clamp is mostly seated, we're gonna reinstall the factory hardware and also install the washers that were included in this kit. Again, there's two sizes, so you can kind of fit them in the holes and understand which washer goes with what. The larger of these two washers goes on the bottom with the stud and the smaller of these two washers goes up top with the bolt. It's always a good idea to thread things on by hand before you start hitting it with an impact gun just to reduce the risk of cross-threading any of your threads. The instructions call for Loctite. I'm gonna use some blue Loctite and just put a smidge on the threads on the stud and the bolt. So we're gonna slowly bring these up to spec with a 3 8 ratchet. 
I'm gonna get these snug alternating, and then I'm gonna come back with my torque wrench and get these torqued to 123 foot-pounds. All right, we're all done installing this HD billet steering rack clamp. Now it's time to hit the trails and put this thing to the test. Let's get it. That's the idea, at least. And the last thing needed in this modification is you gotta put the sticker somewhere. So I don't have a lot of room, but there's a spot right here. So let's put it on. Boom. Stickers make you go faster. This is gonna be one of the quickest mods you'll ever do. And one of the sickest. <laughs> if you have some steering rack play that you can't quite pin down. If you're the type of person that takes your trail out on the rigs, this is definitely some easy insurance to make sure that that's one less component of your rig that you need to worry about. 333 Fabrications also sells other products, so check out their website and see if they have some other sick mods you want on your rig. And with the promo code SICKMODS, you'll also get a discount. With all that said, thanks for watching, thanks for wrenching, and thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, click the subscribe button below so you don't miss out on any of our new content. And of course, we'll be back with some more sick mods. We'll see you then.